Hi team, the first thing we're going to go over are the basics of what is a protein and how we should think of it as a function of shape and size. Um, okay, so we generally say that proteins are the things that do all of the different jobs in the body. And so we've talked in class about enzymes. Enzymes are the proteins that speed pro processes up. So you want to think of like polymerase. So if we want to make new RNA, for example, we need RNA polymerase. For DNA, we need DNA polymerase. Also, all the different digestive enzymes in our uh, gut, in our stomach, like uh, pepsin, for example, that's really important in speeding up the digestion of food. Um, we've also talked about signals, really important for communication between cells receptors, which is where the signals dock, so they're found on the surface of the cell. We've also talked about antibodies. Antibodies can attach to pathogens and mark them for destruction. And we've also talked about proteins that are important for a structure, so proteins of your cell membranes, uh, keratin in your hair, uh, your nails, your skin, all very important structural proteins. And so let's think about what is a protein. So I like to remind us all of a house. And if we zoomed in on a house, what would we see? Well, if it's a brick house, we'd see all the bricks lined up in a row uh, to make up the bigger structure of the house. And we can think of proteins exactly the same way. Um, because remember, however we structure our bricks and however many bricks we use, we can make houses of different sizes, so really big houses, smaller houses, and we can also make houses of different shapes. So think of like a New England colonial home with bricks. Um, we can think of a townhouse building. We can also think of kind of ranch brick buildings out in the West. So um, depending on how you put those bricks together, houses of different shapes and sizes. So proteins are the same thing. There are lots of different proteins of different shapes and sizes. And if we think of the protein as our big house, um, what are the bricks? So if we zoomed in on a protein, we'd see that the bricks are chains of amino acids. And there are 20 different kinds of amino acids. And they can all come together in different ways. Um, and depending on the size and shape, they can have a different function. So remember, all of our different kinds of proteins that do different jobs can do those different jobs because they are different sizes and shapes. So, um, when we think of a signal, if you can kind of look down here a little bit, let me help you guys. Um, so if we look down at the bottom of the board, um, signal in class, I've been drawing signals as just a circle. But if we actually zoomed in and looked at the structure of signals, we'd see this globular uh, 3D dimensional shape that's you know really a ball, but it's all this uh, chains of amino acids folded in on each other. Um, and if we looked at our receptor, so over here down at the bottom, I've been drawing a receptor. So there's the cell, it's a circle. And then a little square is our uh, receptor. But if we zoomed in to look at the amino acid shape, which is over here, we'd actually see that that receptor is a long chain of amino acids that's arranged in a very particular way. And this is really important um, because if we look here at our cell, oops, if we look here at our cell, um, the receptor is this squiggly line. We see our signal is this globular chain of amino acids. Uh, the signal and receptor is like a lock and key. So the signal has to have a very specific shape to be able to dock at or attach um, at this receptor. So that's the basics of proteins, what they are and how they function. Next, we're going to talk about antigens and how they relate to these amino acid sequences.